So the Chinese weightlifting team arrived in Switzerland last week for the Challenge 210. This was a very rare opportunity as it will be the first time in a long time that we get to see almost everyone in the Chinese men's team all in Europe. Nearly everyone competed but not Yu Xiaoyun since he was still recovering from his injury. But I spoke to Shi Zhiyue after the competition. He told me Lu was going to compete as he did win his golden advance and Shi was going to sit out. But then out of nowhere, Shi jumped onto the weightlifting platform and he started warming up with Lu's golden boots and singlet, which was a huge surprise for everyone. <laughs> because during that whole day, I kept asking him, Yongge, Jingwan Gao Fan Duoshao? Which means, bro, how much are you gonna power king tonight? And Xu told me after the competition, it's because him and Lu was in the same weight class, there will be no point of them to compete. Which means either I don't compete, but if I do compete, I'm gonna win. And he did win. Uh, he won somewhat as first prize. Spoiler is not a relax. In case you're wondering why they went lightweight. <laughs> and powered through most of their lifts. According to Seb from Weightlifting House, by attending this competition, it will ease the pressure from further participating in two more competitions from the next qualification period. And also, their totals from this competition is likely not to count, so only four out of six results will count towards the Olympics. Then, you also got to bear in mind, at the time of the competition, it is 4 a.m. in China. So imagine how jet lagged they were. As you can see, everybody above 67 warmed up the same time. So I did my best to get much footage as possible. Also, me and Seb had the privilege to interview Liu Xiaojun himself. <laughs> <laughs> I am working on the translations as we speak. This video is just a brief explainer about why this competition happened, and I will upload the full snatch and clean and jerk sessions in two separate videos. But if you do have any questions, leave a comment and I will try my best to answer them. And also there's no point subscribing since after these videos, I will not be uploading for a long time. But if these videos get enough views, I will go to Tianjin in December and try to get some more footages and more information about Chinese weightlifting and possibly interview Shi Zhiyong or Tian Tao or maybe even coach Yu himself. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Big shout out to the guys from Liu Xiaojun Barbell Company. Thank you for inviting me. It was a great trip. And thank you, Seb, from Weightlifting House for giving me the insights. And thank you, Gregor from ATG for lending me your tripod. And if you're still watching now, here are some clips from the... <laughs>